My name is Ryan Goodman. I'm the founder of Senegon Solutions, and with me today I have Evan Deloder, who's our principal uh, flex architect, and we are a SAP premier partner, and we develop add-on solutions for an enterprise dashboard product called Excelsius, and we've developed a add-on called GMAPS plugin, which is our Google integration, our Google Maps integration, uh, allowing dashboard developers to build and integrate geographic analysis within business intelligence dashboards. The, the decision to choose Google Maps as our technology for implementing uh, geographic analysis within the business intelligence space was actually quite easy. Our customers asked for uh, intuitive and easy to use uh, mapping interface for, for visualizing their business information. And when we evaluated the landscape, we wanted to ensure that our customers had a very easy and intuitive, view, uh, easy and intuitive to use uh, technology and the uh, pervasiveness of Google Maps uh, made it an obvious choice along with uh, their support for uh, licensing and pricing for the enterprise. One slightly sticky area that we ran across was uh, interval timing with geocoding requests. So within uh, the application that we created this plugin for, the user is able to bind uh, a range of address data uh, to the Google Map component. And for each address in that range, we go out to the geocoder uh, each time with the Flash API and get the response back and plot the marker. Uh, we had actually set up a timer in Flex uh, to manage these requests out to the geocoding API and found that uh, what worked for us uh, internally may have not worked for a client in an actual deployment in the way of marker requests being successfully processed. So what we ended up ultimately doing is exposing the timer interval as an actual user configurable property uh, that they could dial in for the Google map and by kind of you know, taking away the guesswork on our side and empowering them, they're able to choose the best timing interval for their solution, their environment, and their uh, internal infrastructure. So, so this next question is, is sort of a nice uh, follow-up to the last question. How do you find the performance uh, for the Google Maps API? Uh, performance for the Google Maps API inside of Flash is uh, really solid for if you're just plotting latitude and long longitude values. So if uh, we have an option in our uh, property management for the Google Map where they're able to select uh, the option to use either the geocoding service if they're coding addresses or you know city-state value pairs, or they can choose the option to use uh, latitude and longitude values that they provide themselves. So if they're providing uh, you know, hard-coded latitude and longitude values through the program, uh, response, is, response times are negligible and it runs really, really smoothly, uh, very predictable and very fast. Uh, the only kind of performance hit that we run up against is with the geocoding. Uh, you know, like I said, we kind of empower the user by putting the interval timer, timer in their hands. So, Performance kind of you know varies based on their setup and their infrastructure, uh, but with that said, once a request goes out to the geocoder, uh, it comes back extremely fast. So performance from the you know purely geocoding aspect has been great. It just uh, all kind of hinges on the the timer interval that uh, you know spaces out the requests. How easy was it to get started? And then um, the next question is, how do the maps uh, uh, improve the user experience? It was really easy to get started. Um, one of the, the base points that we really jumped off from was the uh, forum and the online community that Google's provided. Uh, you know, just through the API reference site, we're able to find 
easy, clear, concise code examples that we could basically, you know, copy and paste when we were starting from the ground up to figure out, you know, how to best handle, you know, latitude and longitude coding, how to best set up and abstract away marker options and how to handle geocoding. Uh, so, you know, getting started was a breeze. A ton of, ton of online resources uh, in the Google community. Uh, Pamela Fox, who's been speaking a lot today, has provided a lot of guidance on those forums. And uh, also in the Flex world, there were other developers that have contributed working examples with source code that you can download. So it was a pretty easy road for us getting started. What do you see as the future of uh, mapping and geo? So for the future of mapping and geo, we, we see it as taking what we're able to do on the desktop today with business intelligence, which is view business-centric geographical uh, and performance data, taking that over to a mobile device and mobile platform so that the user can have the same great intuitive experience uh, in and away from the workplace. Thank you so much.